everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this wobbler card. It's so much fun. I have loved doing every part of this. It's got a real fun, you know, humorous side to it. And if you've got members of the family that, yeah, will enjoy this kind of humour, then you definitely have to get this stamp set. I'll show you all that in a moment, but it just says, watch out, sprouts are about caution. You've got the caution tape there. And then I've put some glossy accents on their eyes. You can just see it catching the light. And then there's some little glitter. It's the White Blizzard Nouveau Drop on their nose there as well. And then inside, it's just a top folding. I've popped him on some foam adhesive. He's uh, got a bit of wind there cheeky look to his face and then it says from your favorite child so if you watched my what did I get video which I shared maybe four to five weeks ago I shared this stamp set and um, I spoke about that it's a bit of a thing in our family me and my sister kind of always say it to mum and I thought when I saw the stamp set I thought I've got to do that you know have that and, and make a card so yeah using these wobblers I think this has turned out brilliant and I hope you enjoy the video so let me show you how I made it Okay, so to make this card, I am using, this is the Hobby Art, and this one is called Christmas Green Things, and I think it's just, it is, it's just awesome. And then this is, it's kind of like a coordinating one, and this is just called Do Not Open Until Christmas, and that's where I've used that really fun sentiment and the caution strips there. So that's all of that. Again, it will all be shared on my blog. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done loads of it. Really, all I'm doing is just giving you a bit of inspiration, showing you how you connect these, put them on, and just like little details that you can add to your cards just to give them that, you know, that's something else. So this is gonna be on a six by six card. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've cut this piece here, which is five and seven eighths of an inch squared, and then this is five and three quarters of an inch squared. And that is gonna sit over the top, just giving me a very thin, border you can just see that little red border and then once I put that onto my card blank you know that's really going to pop but before I start sticking stuff on top of this I just want to add a little bit of sparkle and just yeah just a few extras onto it so I've got my this is the Spectrum Noir sparkle pen I think this one's okay let me just pop it on something oh yeah that's got loads so I'm just going to because I've used colored pencils to color these in so all I've done on this one here is I have stamped the holly leaf and then the two different size sprouts and just randomly just all over and then I've colored them in just to kind of match in with what I'm using but I think I'm just going to add yeah it's beautiful just want to add some sparkle to the base because then it's really going to catch the light so I'm just going to go over all the sprouts with the sparkle pen Okay, so that's lovely. Then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add some glossy accents, but I think I'm going to wait till I've stuck everything down and then whatever I can see of the red holly leaves, I'm just going to put some glossy accents on that. So I'll show you that in a minute. So first of all, I just want to stick this one down. So I'm just going to run some glue around this because I'm going to put the red piece when I stick it to the card blank I'm going to put some foam on the back of that again just to give some dimension. I want a lot of you know height to this card and yeah, just to make it, I want there to be lots to look at. So that's that one there stuck down. Okay, then I want to start laying down these pieces here. So I've stamped two of the caution, well, I guess the tape. So I'm going to have kind of like that. I'm going to stick it down and then trim. I'm going to have one up there, like, let's do it that way actually, like that. And then I'm going to have the caution like that but I need to colour these in with some yellow first of all. I've just got a yellow coloured pencil here and I'm just going to go in and just colour in all those white sections. You don't okay so I'm happy with that. I don't think I'm going to colour that yellow. I think I'm going to leave the caution. Mind you though it looks a bit, you know, maybe I should. Yeah, I prefer that. Okay, so I'm going to have that one there, that one there, and then that one across. I want all of that caution to be seen, so I'm going to stick it about there. Okay, so let's get these ones down. Now I'm just going to flip it over and just cut along each piece and that way you know you get a nice straight line. Okay so already you can see and can you see all the shine there coming off the sprouts? 
think it looks really cute. Next, I want to start playing with these. So I've got one to go on the inside, that's all for inside, and my sentiment for the top. So I've got these three here, and I'm gonna, I've coloured again them all with my green um, colouring pencils, and just used two different, one light and one dark, and just blended them. A red for the nose, and then a little bit of grey around the eyes. I haven't, and you know, kept the colouring in on this one, because sometimes I colour and I don't record, and I just watch a movie or something, but I've got a whole playlist here of colouring. So if you want to see how I do things, and how I get my shading and stuff like that, go check out the playlist, and you'll find lots of helpful tips tips there. What I also went and done is I stamped three of the hats. I've done them all in blue because I just thought I just wanted them all the same. So there's the hat, but you can also turn them into little decorations. You can turn them into little Christmas puddings. You've got arms, you've got feet. There's all kinds of things. You've even got there a little, uh, so if someone's farted, <laughs> which I think is good, and I'm going to use that for the one inside. But someone did say if you're offended, then you could say it's a little cauliflower floret or something like that, or broccoli. So um, yeah, I thought it was really fun. But I've done these three, the three main large ones, and then I've done him there because he looks really cheeky, and um, that's going to suit for what you know what's inside. So what I want to do is add a tiny little bit of. In fact, I'm going to use the this one here because this is very tacky this is the cosmic shimmer just putting a very thin amount so for his i'm going to have it slightly on the side like that and then this one can be that one can be that side as well because that suits it there and then this one i think more near the top so we'll have it about there there we go. Okay, so now we want to use our wobblers. So I've just put mine all in there. I've got 12. These are the Hampton Art wobblers. Again, I will link them. I think they're the smaller ones, the mini versions. But you have like a hard plastic on one end and then a soft, can you see that all like bends? That's what sticks to your object and then that sticks to the card. So I'm going to just use the one that's going on the object first. You just peel it apart. It's very easy to do, like so. And then I'm just going to flip that one over and then just stick it in the center and just push the whole thing down and then you can obviously make sure that's all stuck but now you've got a little wobbly piece i think they're brilliant they're so so cool and then again this one here now i have my wobblers next i will need to position them so i think i'm going to have one there one up here and one down here I think something like that because that's all going inside and then see I do want a little sentiment on this I know it says caution down there but I think I'm going to bring them down a little bit like that and then I can have the watch out sprouts are about up here I think so maybe let me just trim this one down so I can check it's all going to sit where I want it yeah I think that looks really good there I'm going to put a little bit of red around that so while I know I know these need to go where they are I'm just going to peel off the backing there and stick that one there again just push down and they will find their home there we go <laughs> and then again take this one off here now if I bring that up you can see it's definitely not going to fall off but now they've just got this really cool wobble about them and I absolutely love them I think they're really really cool okay so then I'm going to quickly put some red around that one okay, so just put some foam pads on the back there I've got my six by six card blank I think I'm going to have this top folding I do like a top folding card and then you'll just have a very thin border you may want to put yours onto a colored card blank and not do that one in between but I do like that very thin frame there we go stick that down and then inside I have gone and cut a piece of, I think this was five by five, if I can pick it up. Or was it five and a half? Let me just double check that one. Five and a half that one is, so I'm just going to pop some glue on that one. So make sure that has a nice even border. And then this one here, <laughs> so I have stamped and coloured another one so he's got quite a cheeky look about him but for this one I want to <laughs> I'm going to do one of the little puffs of air let's call it so 
but I wanted to lay him down first before I can see exactly where he needs to go. So I'm just going to bring in my ink here. So he's going to be on the fork, but then coming out is going to be, so I think I need him kind of like that, and then that will be there. There we go. <laughs> Okay, then I'm going to take the backing off of him so I put some foam and then he can stick on there. I'm going to colour that yellow. So I may add a little bit of grey onto that just to give it a little, make it a little bit more, you know, so it stands out. And then you can see there the sentiment from your favourite child. <laughs> They're going to love this. And then I'm just going to add some glue to the back of that one. There it is. That's my card to my parents this year. <laughs> I love it. I think it is so much fun. They just, yeah, it's brilliant. So I definitely highly recommend you getting these and you can put so many cool things on them, you know, so have a little look around, you know, what maybe pre die cuts you've got, um, maybe some images on a pattern piece of paper that you can cut out and have on there but it's the stamped images are brilliant and um, yeah I've already got some ideas for some birthday style cards as well so they again be something that I'll be bringing into the new year because um, I've got some just really fun ideas so I hope you're going to like them. I'm just thinking about the glossy accents now. I think I might, I don't know. See I do this and then I put things away and then I look at it again and then maybe add it. I might add some glossy accents on there. All glossy accents are is it's a, it's like a glue medium really but it gives you a nice shine. So again it makes things kind of stand out so I may well do that but we'll see. Anyway it stands up nicely and you can see them all there. Bring it up a bit closer just so you can see. Oh and I need to put, yeah I need to put the glossy accents. Let me just grab mine. Actually, no, I'm not going to do glossy accents on the noses. I'm going to use my white blizzard and I'm just going to go over it so that when it dries clear, they have glittery noses. So it's just got a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of glitter there for Christmas. I'll just bring that up so you can see it. So it goes on a little bit cloudy, but when it dries clear, it just leaves the sparkle. Can you see there on their noses? And you'll still see that red coming through. There, done, finished. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. I hope it's inspired you. And if you haven't seen these wobblers before, then yeah, go check them out because I think you'll really enjoy them. So thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today and consider subscribing so you get to see more. Bye.